Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book Catherine, The Great Journey by Christiana Gregory. And this book is in the Royal Diary series. And in case you are new to my channel and you're not sure what the Royal Diaries series is, it was a series published by Scholastic and it tells the story of younger royals before they become monarchs and it is written in a fictional diary series um, in order to teach kids young girls history and in case you are you're not sure this particular royal diary is about Catherine the Great who ruled Russia and it basically tells her story before her marriage and before her marriage and before going to Russia and a little bit during Russia. And the book starts off when Catherine is in Prussia, which is not a country anymore. Um, and she is living at home with her mother and father and siblings and they are by by modern by royal standards they are poor but the mother is what probably would be termed now as a stage mom something of that line something similar to that and she the mother feels that the family is destined for better things and even though her family is quite poor the branch that she comes from has a lot of connections and through these connections probably before Catherine was even born when she's she's called Sophie in this book before she um, adopts the name of Catherine and Sophie is betrothed or chosen I don't know betrothed I guess would be the right word um, to the grandson of Peter the Great in Russia. So they end up going, traveling all the way from probably modern, I don't know if it'd be modern Germany, Ger what's well, probably today Germany or something in that ballpark. I don't, Russia's not a country anymore. Okay, um, to, to Russia, which was no easy feat. You have to think this was, they were using coaches and stuff to get around. So they, they do end up going to Russia and Sophie, AKA Catherine meets the person that she's betrothed to. And it's kind of about their relationship. It's kind of rocky and you can kind of see that in history. Um, because in history, she does take over um, after Peter's death through mysterious circumstances. Um, so they are kind of not seeing eye to eye. She is really interested in Russia. She wants to make this her home. She's really into the Russian Orthodox Church, and he is not, he's a Lutheran, um, he, she wants to learn Russian, he couldn't care less, he mainly speaks German, and, you know, Catherine, you can kind of see that Catherine, you know, understands that Peter is not the one that she needs to impress, the one that she needs to impress, impress is the Empress Elizabeth. She is the one that, you know, calls the shots and she's the one that needs to be, you know, bowled over, I guess, by Catherine. And it's just talking, the diary is mainly just talking about Catherine, aka, I'm gonna call her Catherine, I'm not gonna call her Sophie. Catherine, getting used to this court and just this wealth and you know 
her mother doing, being kind of the, what would we term now as a stage mom and dealing with that. And yeah, this was a really good book. I think it's really good because a lot of people, I've even watched videos of history teachers that don't, didn't know until they watched something. They didn't know too much about young Catherine. So I think this would be good for anybody, but it's mainly directed at young readers. I, I know I've read reviews about the Royal Diaries before, and one of the reviews like, it, it, it sounds like it was written for children. I'm like, it's because it was, you stupid moron. Um, uh, but this is really good for, for kids. Um, if you have a younger reader and you're trying to get them to read, um, maybe this would be just fun. I, I don't know. I'm kind of a nerd, so I'm not the one to talk. But, yeah, maybe that, that'll be fun. Um, if you've read this book, if you've read The Royal Diaries as when you were younger, because I got them when I was already an adult, but if you read them when you were younger, let me know, comment. And if you know more about Catherine, I do not know too much about Catherine. To be honest, I I don't know too much. So if you know more and that's your thing that you love to read and you know a lot, let me know. I love I love talking to you guys. And um yeah, this book was a lot of fun to read. And I think my next book review will be called Queen Victoria's Matchmaking. And that is I think I have like five hours left in that book. So I will be reading that and that will be a lot of fun. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.